Hello everyone, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we will solve logical interview questions which will ask in Automation Anywhere interviews. If you are new to my channel, if you want to learn Automation Anywhere from the scratch, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Let's understand question 3, maximum of multiple number. You will get a question like this. Write a program that finds the maximum of multiple numbers. So user has to give a multiple input and we have to show in a message box in the automation anywhere what is exactly the maximum number in multiple numbers. So example, input will be 1, 2, 3, so on. So here the maximum number is 10. We have to find which number is maximum and that number we have to show it in an output message box. So I hope you have understand the question. Let's see now how we can solve this question in Automation Anywhere tool. First, we will note all the steps which is involved to solve this problem. So let me take a step in an action and drag and drop inside the first step. So our first step is take input from user, right? So next step is, let me take another step. The second step, find multiple number, right? We have to find. And the third step is show the result in message box. Right? So we have to complete these three steps to get a result in automation anyway. So we will go. Let's follow the step. Our first step is take an input from user. How we can get an input from user in automation anyway? We can use prompt action in automation anywhere to get an input from user directly. To get that, I'm using prompt for value. And we have to mention what is exactly the caption. So let me take the same caption maximum of multiple number into a prompt message and please enter numbers. And we can store this value into one particular string variable str input. By default, Automation Anywhere will save all the input from the user as a string whenever you are using prompt for value. And in this way, we can take an input from the user. But we have to differentiate multiple numbers, right? How we can differentiate? Again, I will take a prompt for value. This time in the second prompt for value, I will enter, please enter delimiter. Right? So we have to get a delimiter example comma or hash or space in between the numbers. Right? So then we can split that number and we can get individual number from multiple inputs. So now I have a please enter a delimiter. So example I will give for a user. So example they can consider comma as a delimiter. Right? And this delimiter let's save in a str delimiter variable right so create and select so now we have a two input exactly the multiple input in str input variable and another one is the delimiter which selected by a user right two inputs we have in the first step so let's jump into the next step how we can find the multiple numbers right so maximum of multiple numbers to get that we have to use a action called split in string package so let me take a split and here our first string source is our str input which we have taken from user and what is exactly delimiter they have used for input so now let me take str delimiter also which is which is given by a user in the delimiter so now 
we have to save this splitted value into variable type list. By default, it will save it in a list. So let me take a list variable list value, right? And create and select. So now we will get an individual value in the list data type in the index format, right? Zeroth index, first index like this. Let's see now how we can get an individual value from list data type. To get an individual value, we have to use a loop condition. And in the loop, we have to use a list. And in the list, we can select whatever the list data type we have created for to store the value of input, right? So let me take list value and all the value I need one by one. And we can save this value into str list item because our initial value is saved under string data type. That's why I'm taking individual value as a string. But we are taking a number from a user. How we can convert string to number? Let's see in the next step. So now let me add a message box and confirm how we are getting a value from a user individually, right? So let's take a message box and str list item and save it. So now let's run the bot. Now user has to enter the numbers, right? So let me add 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, right? And click OK. And we have to give which delimiter we have used for multiple numbers. So let me add a delimiter as a comma because I have used comma as a delimiter. Click OK. So now in the loop, we are getting an individual number one by one, right? So now the first half is completed. So we are getting a value from our user properly. So next step is we have to find which value is maximum in that multiple numbers. To get that, we have to use a condition. So let me take a if condition, drag and drop, and we are dealing with the numbers, right? So let me take a number condition in the if condition. And the source value, we have to compare with the two numbers. The first thing is we have to take a first index and we have to compare with a one. So let me create a variable assign and number assign and I will take 0 as a initial value n u m initial number. So basically I'm taking an initial number as a 0 and in the if condition I'm taking a source value as n u m initial number and if it is greater than str list item right we are getting a each value in the list item but this is not a number value so let me convert into dot to number right save so now what exactly bot is doing bot is checking initial value is greater than our index value or not in case if it is greater so let me take a again assign and in the assign, I'm taking a greater value. So here the greater value is number initial number, right? So let me take that num initial number and this value I will assign again into num initial number. And the second condition is in case this is not greater, right? So let me take a else condition. So we can take a else if or else. So let me take a else condition. And for that, I'm just copying this action and paste it inside the else condition. So now what is the greater number? The greater number is list item, right? So let me take a list item to initial number. And new M, sorry, str list item dot to number so basically i am taking the value of number initial number as a greater number in each condition
so now what is happening so we are checking each data one by one and we are considering in each condition which particular value is greater value so after the loop completes right let me take a message box after the loop completes and in the message box i will take str sorry num initial number and as this is a number so let me take it as two string and run the bot so now we we are having a condition and it will check which particular index is greater between the two index same way entire loop it will go and it will check one by one index in the list and it will find which particular value is greater in the list right so let's see now we will run the bot and we will see the answer so first thing we have to enter a multiple values right so let me enter 1 comma 10 comma 5 comma 6 right we have a 4 value we know that in the second index we have a value 10 that is a highest number right so maximum number in this string and click ok and give a delimiter comma and click ok so now you are getting a value as a 10 like this we can solve this particular maximum of multiple number question very easily in automation anywhere basically we have to understand looping list and the condition if you are understanding these three concepts we can resolve i hope you have understand the logic behind this particular problem statement please try in your system if you have any question please comment on this video if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you i have already created rpa related videos in my youtube channel please go through all youtube videos and get the knowledge happy learning go be great